The hypersail has no engine, none at all. Ferrari wants it to be completely energy self-sufficient. They're combining solar panels, wind turbines, and kinetic energy recovery, basically turning the movement of the boat into usable electricity. And all of that power goes into a high voltage battery system, the same kind of tech that Ferrari uses in their hybrid hypercars, like the SF90 Stradale. So you're looking at a 100 foot boat that could potentially cross oceans using nothing but the wind and its own clever engineering to keep every onboard system actually working. Ferrari's engineers say it's also a chance for them to experiment with autonomous control systems. This is a whole new thing in the sailing world and I think we need to pay attention. When you've got a 100 foot carbon fiber spaceship trying to fly on foils through the ocean waves, stability isn't just important, it's survival. They're building what they call smart trim algorithms that constantly adjust the foils and the rudders and the sails using a sophisticated network of sensors and computer logic that's borrowed from Ferrari's Formula One traction and aero control systems. So yeah, your boat might have a wind vane, but this one's got an onboard brain trained by F1 engineers.